What's up, everybody? Kevin Cox. This is a dope black drop. Documents reveal that federal agencies monitored Black Lives Matter demonstrations but ignored white supremacist involvement in violent protests. So there's an article in The Root by Zach Lindley. Uh, he's uh, monitoring uh, documents coming from Federal Protective Services. And uh, basically, we already knew all of this. Nobody's caught off guard. Nobody's surprised. When black people uh, start to unite and start to stand up and start to voice their opinion and tell the government that they're doing wrong all of a sudden they're all in our emails they're all in our facebook they're monitoring every movement so basically what happened was they were all in the facebook and they're gathering intel they're not just snooping on black groups they're gathering intel and they're trying to head things off at the pass so what the what the obvious problem is the problem isn't that they're looking for intel when a group may do a protest that could possibly end up violent. The problem is that they're ignoring the white counterpart. So the, 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 the main issue for me, the inconsistency, is that these white extremist groups, such as your neo-Nazis and your KKK and your, uh, your, your, your Tea Party extremists, your Bundy Ranch type that are heavily armed to the gills and they're, they're, they're in front of the Capitol uh, with, with AR-15s on their chest, they're doing the exact same thing but they're more dangerous because they're in hate groups that have killed people neo-nazis are running people over so black lives matter protesters you know what they may have done a few things they may have gotten themselves arrested there may have been some unrest and then they they, they may get arrested and then at the end of the protest as as marcus and i have both seen at uh events that dope black thoughts have have been at it'll be peaceful when all the woke progressives are there and then we walk away and then some anarchists show up later on and try to set something on fire right the problem is whenever the white counterpart to these things pop up, they're already on some destructive stuff. So uh, the Federal Protective Services, they're only looking into what the black folks are doing, and they're not comparing your neo-Nazi uh, sympathizers and activists, such as the gentleman, <laughs> gentleman, the white murderer that ran over Heather Heyer at the uh, Unite the Right event. Um, there's obviously ties to what these uh, terrorists have been doing historically in, in Europe and the Middle East. They use pedestrian attacks. They take a, a vehicle, they take a van, and they run into a crowd of people. That's what this gentleman did over here in Charlottesville. Why aren't we looking at that? Why aren't we gathering intel on the KKK? I'm sure there's there's plenty of moves they're planning on making while they're trying to hold on to power for Trump, uh, such as, you know, guarding polls and intimidating people from going out and voting and whatnot. Why aren't they gathering information on that? Because number 45 is trying to suppress the vote and trying to shut down the post office so you can't mail in a ballot if you wanted to. So uh, I want to give a shout out to, to Zach Lindley from, uh, from The Root for this wonderful article. It just posted a couple hours ago, and this is very pertinent for today. Uh, topics uh, that are going on in, in our current events in the black atmosphere. So I, I want everybody to stay attentive and uh, stay dope, stay black. DBT out.